time for Tit Rat Racing. <laughs> Tit Rat Racing. Believe it or not, this episode we've cut the back end off the old patrol chassis uh, of Tit Rat and we're going to build some triangulation. Um, word of advice, we aren't experts in this. We're going to give it a go. So I'm going to roll the film. You guys can watch the shenanigans again of me and the Jones boys trying to sort out trim see, can't even say it, trigonometry and durometry and triangulate the back end of the patrol. So you guys watch this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. So if you haven't had, made enough of a mess, um, we're now cutting it off even more and uh, take some quick footage of it just to prove we did it. <laughs> um, hopefully it turns out alright, but we're going to trim it across here and go for a single triangle rear end. Uh, we've just ordered the air shots which you'll see later on, but uh, we're going to snip it up. We've got some basic trigonom trigonom trigonometry figures in our head, uh, so yeah, big word. Not 100% sure what we're doing, but so we went and seen a bloke down at Welsh Pool opposite lock. He let us have a look underneath one he'd done. It didn't look that hard, he assures us it's not that hard. Um, he got it right first go using some basic numbers, so we're going to try the same ourselves. Just finally managed to separate that cross member that used to hold the upper control arms on. Um, Find a bit of the shit off the end of it, monotonous with the TIG weld, the welder, plasma cutter and the grinder. But unfortunately, slow and steady wins this race. See, we have prototype one. <clears throat> Obviously going to box all this section here out, so it's level with that. Basically, extension of the framework that goes up, the chassis rather, to hold the up control arm support, which is the old support. But um, since I've lifted it up, I don't think I need like one and a half inches of clearance between here and the tail shaft. So we're going to go rip actually that bar there that you can see out of the other patrol on the other chassis of the other property. Um, and we're going to weld that across in place of this one here. So um, that's what we're doing today. Also picking up a heap more flat bar so we can finish off the chassis work. Uh, just waiting for calendar rock up. And then we'll head out and get some parts for the big girl. Alright guys, just a bit more of an update um, on the four link that we're building for the back of the old pit rack. Um, finally finished out one of the pillars uh, that's going to be taking most of the strain. That's all made out of 6mm or 8 inch of your Yankee. Um, so yeah, keep that one out. You can see the other side. I'll show you that quickly. <clears throat> Don't know if I have, but that's how it starts out. Obviously there's a couple of plates. The whole smash through it with the plasma. Then we box it all out, weld inside, then box it out and weld outside. So um, this one here, that needs to be twisted out a bit. That one there's still a bit loose. Uh, so we can still manipulate that to exactly where we want it. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's not looking too bad. I'm liking it. So I'm going to continue on. We've already had next job I'm not looking forward to. But obviously, it's taken that off and, and that. Pretty much everything we don't need along the back. That there's the old load compensator location point uh, where the spring and that used to hit. Obviously these have got to come off so we can triangulate these up to those corners on what we've just created. Um, so yeah, that's going to be a shit of a job. We're going to have to take the shock mounts off, relocate those on either side. And that big banger there, the pan arc, 
but in doing that it's also going to give us a lot more room to actually strengthen this because all we've got to do is box out this section here to where these will be going in and that's all basically that will be on the back diff housing other than shock mounts. That hurt? Oh, yeah, Lord, I'm going to bring the fucking camera out of the fucking Yeah, you're going so well. I'm with the body count. So here we go, haven't taken any footage for a while. Well, a day or so. Been playing around, kind of got our idea sorted. There's a skeleton for the rear brace, it's going to take care of the diff housing. And obviously the triangulation points for the centre. Um, and I know they're a bit short, obviously they're a bit short because they're the old ones, but uh, we've got to make new ones that reach up to there and work out our length so we can get all the geometry right. So um, still battling away, just keeping it up touch. Measuring up a few control arms that we're making out of some DOM, one and a half inch. Got our first triangulation, triangulation or I could say half triangulation in. Um, got the other arm there, we're just whipping one up here just to get this in before we go to the pub, but um, all in all, starting to get a bit excited. Um, obviously you've got to take this plate off, get it all welded up, weld it all in, then we can weld it to the diff. Um, but failing than that, I think our measurements are right, people. I think we've got this one. Here we go, guys. It's late on a Friday night. and finally get it all in there. Well, excluding that one. But, um, and that one's actually zip tied up to the side, so it doesn't show us. Trajectory. Got that off. Um, I'm about to clean it up. Got it somewhere around here, and um, I'll show you that as we fit it up. But in aid of doing this, it's the whole purpose is so we can put these control arms on top to get our 10 degrees of angle going down there. So the recipe tells us. So um, that's what we're going to continue to do. Alright guys, I think we're up to prototype 4, uh, it seems to be the way here at Tip Wrap, we seem to do everything a heap of times until we kind of get it right, um, that's a bit presumptuous, I don't know if we have got it right, but I've got to drop the 4 inches out of here again, uh, because I had to bring the control arms that we did have on the top back underneath, so that's the nature of the beast, chop this back to where it was, put the plate on it, bring it out, put these bangers back down, and um, in doing that, Hopefully the pinion angle stays the same through its rotation where we're getting it. Yeah, it's just altering just a little bit. Um, I don't think it's a real big deal. Um, but like I said, first time we've done this, like everything, haven't got a clue. So we're just in balls deep and see how we go. But um, basically, this sucker's going to sit back where he was. He just skims around. And then we need to pick the pinion gear back up. So, get all our arms back into action. So, um, I'm going to continue on with that at the short term. Probably go to the establishment and have a beer soon. It's getting to that time. But failing that, I'll keep the bat one on. Alright guys, we're coming to an end of an episode. I'm um, keeping it nice and short, around the 10 minute mark, so I don't bore the shit out of you. Um, as you can see, we've, uh, we've finished it. 
Um, I think we're up to prototype four. Um, it seems to circulate well, it seems to do everything. Rod end separations are the same. Our degrees, well, our angles on both of these, top and bottom, are the same. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say about that. Um, I've got to stress to you guys, we are not experts, amateurs, or even beginners at this. We don't know shit. So basically, between the help of a bit of trigonometry, YouTube footages, this is what we've come up with. Um, upper control arm bracket, finally moulded that old bracket from the GU, uh, GQ rather, into that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say about that at the moment. Waiting on our shocks or our coilovers to come in, still waiting from them. They're being ordered at opposite lock in Welshpool, and that's taken, we're up to six weeks now. So um, I'll give him another ring today, but unfortunately he's just the in-between man. There's nothing he can really do other than keep emailing them and keeping me happy. I've uh, got some good news guys, uh, Keller Barron's Facebook page told us that uh, Cochrane's going to be running this year, so what does that mean? That means Big Leo, the nitrous powered quad canned V6 Pajero, hence the name Leo Wanker, is coming back out of retirement. Uh, we thought he was in a COVID-19 coma for a while, but thank Christ we don't slip back to, um, like back to threes in the way of the COVID system goes, we're going to be racing out there. Uh, a big shout out, as always, to TJ Signs, George Napper and Greg Huggins from MedSpark. Without these guys, obviously, it makes things a lot harder. And I'd like to have a big shout out to Rhett Jones, obviously, one of the, and Callum Jones. These guys put in a tremendous amount of work. Reynolds has had a bit of a holiday of late. We won't go into why that, but you know, big fella. Um, so, yeah, and Callum, he's been giving us an awesome amount of help as well. And last but not least is Brodos. Without big Brody, uh, you've seen him in quite a few episodes, but without him and his IT expertise, we'll say, um, me being an old fart, I am not very good at this, so without his well, his help right from the start, to be honest, uh, I wouldn't be able to get these videos up. So you can either love him or hate him for that fact, but uh, we're in love mode with Brodos. Thank you, buddy. And thanks to everyone else that's involved. Um, hang with us. Next episode, we're pulling Leo out, as I've told you, from his COVID-19 coma, and we're going to fire him up, and, yeah, we're going to go race and cook him. Cheers, guys.